This tutorial uses a combination of the four stage tool to define areas lacking in contrast and patches to apply a different blend mask width to a selected area. With Fluid Mask defaults in place, use the local delete brush to select any unwanted areas. Alter the brush size as and when needed. This can be done by using the slider at the top left of the screen or by using the bracket keys. When all the unwanted areas are selected, select Image, Auto Fill with Keep and create a cutout. You can see from this first cutout that refinements are needed. There's an area here where the foreground and background are so similar in colour that the edge has not been defined accurately. Using the full stage tool with feather set at 2 pixels, draw in the undefined areas. It can be helpful at this stage to reduce the mask capacity to allow yourself to see better. Change the edge blending to none and with the local keep brush fill in the areas up to the forced edge to create a new edge. Using keys 1, 2 and 3 on the keyboard can allow you to easily toggle between the source, workspace and cutout to check your work. You can also see how an area will look by using the preview cutout tool, the camera button in the tools palette. The forced edge, when joined to the existing object edges, will contain the local keep selections and avoid flooding. Using the select tool, you can reposition the newly refined edge until you are happy with the results and you can hover over a node to adjust its individual placement. You can also delete the full stitch entirely by control clicking on it. Here's another problem area where the edges have not been defined. We could have achieved a better edge definition by increasing the threshold on our edge finding tool. However, as we are going to draw in a forced edge, that's not really necessary. And again, using the local keep brush to fill in the areas up to the forced edge to create the new edge. Once all the areas have been selected, Move on to the other area to be masked. Draw a patch around the area using the Polygon Patch tool. You don't need the colour workspace here. Check the Analyze Patch separately box, set the Intelligent Blending to Feather and set the Blend Mask Width to Thin. With an appropriate brush size, proceed by drawing in the mask with the exact keep brush.
you can use the preview tool in Patch Properties to check your masking as you go. Finally, you can tidy up by using the exact delete brush for anything previously missed. And there you have your final cutout.